guys out there? It's your boy John Klinger here on King of the Kling. It's a really nice night out there tonight. And uh, as you know, guys, it's uh, my fifth episode out there. And before I get on anything, yes, I know. I know. It's a fashion statement. It's so great, I know. Nah, it goes with the shirt. Nah, serious. Uh, anyways, uh, I want to kind of touch on a... A really touchy topic tonight. It's about our heroes. Military, firefighters, you name it. I think we all need to pay you know, more respect you know, to uh, our fallen heroes. Whether it be people that you know, you know, fight fires, serve our country, or you know, serve the law you know, out there. You know, like help you know, keep crime off the streets. You know, heroes like that. And... Uh, I have a special guest that's going to be coming on here tonight, and he's been on my show before. And uh, as you, you may all know him as uh, TRK or Matt Silks. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Silks. What's up, Claire? Hey, how you doing tonight? I'm all right, buddy. About yourself? Oh, can't complain. I like, I like your t-shirt there. I do, too. Yeah. 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 You should try You should try a redwood. Oh, man, that's... <laughs> I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I did see it like the whole time before we did this promo. But like you said, let's try to stay serious tonight. Yeah, we yeah we gotta stay serious because I I really like you really got me going on. Why really? Yeah, the, it's I have to. I work I, with you. I have to. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, where where shall we begin on heroes? Do we want to start paying you know the tribute to our firefighters? I think we should start with the firefighters around here because. They're the ones that don't get paid. That's right, voluntary. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, as we all know, I mean, we have, you know, um, the firefighters, they go and risk their lives, you know, in the burning buildings. And, you know, some, you know, don't make it out. And, yeah. you know, I feel like we need to pay our respects. And uh, uh, I'm just going to let you kind of take it off because we did have a, a big fire, you know, not too long ago. And that, what was it, about a year ago? Yeah, it was a year ago, actually, last week. So uh, it was, uh, you're talking about the uh, Juniata Terrace fire. Yes, yes. Uh, started as just a couple couple houses and kindled the whole way up to, you know, destroying in the 20s. You know what I mean? And, you know, and I know 20 seems like, you know, that's, that's not a big number. We're talking about houses. Houses lined up in a row and they all burned down in a row. You just imagine not waking up and just, you know what I mean, or not having a place to go sleep or something like that. And you know what? Our firefighters did a hell of a job. They did. They 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 did everything that they could do. But you know what? That's all these firefighters do is keep us safe. You know, there was a young kid that passed away here that was just going on his first call. I'm sure you heard about that. Yeah, and, that's uh, really sad. I mean, my experience with with that whole thing with the Juniata Terrace was, you know, instantly when there is a tragedy like that that happens, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's got to be. There's got to be somebody there. We got to remember that we're still human beings. You know what I mean? There's still good in the world, and you know, like me and uh, Rob Noxious and Dylan Frymeyer and my brother. I was actually my brother had mentioned it to me about trying it. We were gonna try to do something, you know, old style with me and the older guys from you know BDTW, the backyard stuff. But uh, you know, me and Rob and uh, we got it done together. You know what I mean? And we raised over three thousand dollars for the terrorist victims. Which is awesome. That is, I honestly, dude, I just want to shake your hand for that. You know, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that's, that, 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 you know, that's, you know, we need people out there like that, you know, to help, you know, out there because, like I said, our firefighters out there do this for free. And, you know, like you said, it burned down in a row. Yes. And I live in, like, a, a, you know, in a neighborhood like that, you know, townhouses, right? They yeah. were townhouses, correct? Yeah. And, you know, I can't even imagine what they went through. I really can't. That is just a horrible, you know, tragic, you know, you know. I was, I was actually, you know what I mean, like, just a short story. Um, I was actually on my way home from work. I was getting in my truck leaving work when I was working at Coke. And uh, my wife had said, you know, the terrace is burning down. You know what I mean? So instantly I come up here and I look and there's, there's pictures, there's everything all over the place about this fire. And, you know, I mean, I, me thinking, I'm like, where are, these poor, where are the poor families? You know, lost, lots of stuff. Like, where are they at? Yeah. And how's everything going? And the, the bank that was holding the checks and stuff like that for all the donations, you know what I mean? I definitely want to give one to that because, you know, 
they made it possible. They kept that money safe, mm -hmm. you know. And the big thing of me about it is, you know, like you said about the firefighters yeah. that are, you know, they, it's almost like that's a full-time job. But they're is. not getting paid for it. No, they're and not. I know I know a bunch of really, really good firemen, like excellent, you know what I mean? Just one off the top of my head, uh, Tim Miller, just a real good friend of mine. Uh, Dave Fowler, you know what I mean? Frank Medley, just, just a bunch of people. And there's more out there. I mean, I'm not trying to cut down on any of you guys, but you guys do deserve this. I mean, you guys are called heroes, you know what I mean? And you are heroes. Yeah. So you instantly, you're told that, and it makes you feel good. You guys should be getting paid. That's nothing to me and Claire can do about. But I did want to take the moment, and I really did want to say, you know, thank you to all the fire departments that go out here and tend to these homes because, you know, you're keeping our neighborhood safe. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's hard to do, and you guys aren't Indeed. even getting paid for it. You know, I don't know how how they do it. I really do it. Like not now, like not now. Whenever the next call they're gonna get, like they're on call twenty four. Yeah, and a lot of them have families. You know, a lot of those guys. <laughs> Have families that you know. I'm sure. I'm sure that a lot of my guys that I know, you know, work their asses yeah. off. You know, what I mean, pardon mm -hmm. me, but they they work all. You know, work their asses off, and they get they get nothing but you know. Mm -hmm. I think satisfaction out of helping. You know what I mean? That's and it. These guys are working full time the jobs. They're going in there. They're you know missing time with their family to keep us safe. Exactly. You know what I mean? That brings that brings me to, to ask you about something on your own show, Punger. Right. How do you feel about the military? How do I feel about the military? Well, if it wasn't for the military, I wouldn't be doing the show right no, now. Neither of us would be here. No, none of us. And you know, um, our, fil our military does not get paid enough. No. They don't. Um, and I don't like to bring sports into this, but I noticed that the sports, like football, yeah. They get paid, what, like million dollar contracts and stuff yeah. just to run a ball down the field. Yeah. But, you know, you got our military that are holding firearms, you know, protecting us to keep us safe. <laughs> getting that are shot out every day. And getting shot out every day, not knowing whether they're going to make it out alive. And they're making, what, $20,000 a year? I wouldn't know, but so, I wouldn't well, I, 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 well, like I said, like, you know, I, that's like an estimate. Like, yeah. I heard like 20000 possibly 40000 Correct me if I'm wrong, guys out there. I apologize. Yeah. But it's still not enough. You don't get enough. paid enough. You don't get paid enough is what I'm getting at. And uh, I feel that, you know... All our military, and whether it be Navy, yeah. Army, Marines, Air Force, uh, even Coast Guard. I mean, Coast yeah. Guard, you know, all of them yeah, out there. You know. people. Yeah, they're rescue people. I, I, I honestly, I don't care what you are. I really don't. The point is, is you actually go out there and try to make a difference for your country and try to make us safe out there. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. None of us would be here. We, well, we probably won't be alive. And that, that, that is a, that is one that hits it really hard. I mean, like, these guys go over there and they spend, they, they, they basically lose their lives. You know what I mean? And if they're not being killed, in some way, they come home and there's a part of them that is left. And, and they're, that right there is sad to me. It's sad to me, but you know what, though? Hey, these guys want to do this. They want to protect us so they can live their life whichever way they want, and I am not going to, you know, invoke on anything that they have to say. These men and women serve for our country, and I have nothing but complete respect and honor for these people. You know what I mean? Men, women, you know what yeah. I mean? That's an amazing thing. You know, I'll, I'll just, a you know, quick deal. Uh, what do you think about the Chris Kyle thing? You know what I mean? That's crazy. He's been over there four tours. You know, he comes home, writes, writes a book. And then next thing you know, he goes out to help these guys, and the dude kills them. You know, like that—that is—that is craziness. Like he could have died any point over there. You know what I mean? And I know, don't ever question God. You know, God's judgment. You know what I mean? But yeah. you know, it's crazy. It's like crazy. Like this dude did so much, and no. And you know, that's not taken away from anybody that's died for a country. No, their memory still is there. Yes. And what and what they did. You know, and uh, like I said, it bothers me to no end. And I, 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 I kind of want to get back on the firefighters also, just because, you know, everybody out there that's trying to make a difference in our, like, our country, our community, does not get the respect that they deserve. And it's taken for granted. Our freedom is taken for granted. Every day. And, you know, 
And it's people out there, and I have good friends that have served in the military, and, and I went to school with them, and, uh, you know, I have the most respect, that, you know, for all of them out there, because they put their lives in jeopardy every day, yep. and not a lot of people understand what that means. No, like, they, they can understand. walk, they can walk somewhere, and out of nowhere, a bomb just go, yeah. and then, but they're getting paid a little next to nothing. And then, and then here's here's the real good one. How about these veterans? <laughs> They're living on the street, Clanger. On the street, our veterans that have gone and seen their brothers, best friends, girlfriends, whatever, die right there in front of them. They come home and they have no place to live. That that's a winner, America. That to me, and pardon my language, is bullshit. Yeah, it is bullshit. And I feel that we need a we need a veterans program, a better one than what we have, because I, I mean I see this everywhere. And great, it's all it's all cool and dandy. Um, they get like a veteran discount wherever they go. That's cool. At least someone's trying to make it. You know, at least recognize what you know the military has done for us. But I also feel that they need to have housing outside of the military. Oh, yeah. You know, not just whatever they're serving. You know our country because you know they pay for their their housing and all that stuff but i feel they need to have it afterwards because if it wasn't for them we wouldn't have our own homes that's right that's right and i kind of also want to touch on uh, our police force and they get a bad rep i know and you know you could you could say you know i hate pigs you know mm -hmm. all that stuff but let me tell you something what if we didn't have these so-called pigs out there um, like the other night, um, I heard uh, the Sunoco got held up at Knife Point. Huh. Yeah, Sunoco got held up at Knife Point. And, it, and, you know, if it wasn't for our police out there, you know, trying, you know, their best to keep the streets safe out there, there would be murder, more, more murder on the street. And there would be like, you know, crimes would be like through the roof out there. Believe it or not guys, police officers are heroes. Because they do sometimes get shot at. They're, they're, they're up there with the military and they don't get paid enough, in my opinion, for what they do. I, my, my input on cops is, yeah. you know, like, it's a little, it's a little sketchy for me. Just, but, but my thing about it is like my wife said, it's, it's not all of them. You no, know, I, I understand no, that. No, I, I, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna downgrade them. I know that they get shot at and here's the thing. There to protect and serve, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So of course they would be heroes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? Like you said about the snow cub, I'm sure that they took care of that. And yeah. Everything like that. I'm sure that they did. I didn't really hear the rest of my that, yeah. my thing. My thing that gets to me. I mean, I kind of wanted to stay away from this, but my thing that gets me is these firemen. I mean, I don't know any. These firemen, some guys that go work for the country, you know what I mean, do the military. They, you know, they're cocky, whatever. That, that's Like I said, you have no idea what's going on over there. No. But whenever policemen <laughs> abuse their power, it just there's nothing in the world that drives me more crazy, mm -hmm. like ever. You know, and that that's just something, you know, I don't agree with. I mean, like, uh, yeah. there is there is nothing wrong with doing your job and doing it right yeah. and and being, you know, reasonable. You know what I mean? Don't don't Be jack so, yeah. It. Don't jack somebody up just because they don't got their IDs on them or something like that. You know what I mean? Don't take a, a eleven year old kid and put him in the middle of town for riding a bike on the street and uh, and patch down and say, hey, you got drugs on you. You don't do that. Nah, you know, you're and, a kid and, and riding you, your bike on. on and the you, side. I mean, you are right about. It. I mean, cops is kind of a, a sketchy topic, and but you they know, are heroes. But they are heroes, and yes, guys. Some cops out there do abuse their power, and I've seen videos on the internet everywhere, everywhere of cops abusing their power. And I kind of want to stay away from it, but I'll touch a little bit on it, and then we're going to get back to how they are heroes. But you know, yes, like I've noticed, like they stopped with a guy on a motorcycle. Did you see that one where they they stopped the guy on the motorcycle? And because he's video cameraing or something yeah, like that. Yeah, how a gun to his face. Yeah, yeah. uh huh. And they took him to jail because he had. Yeah, he wasn't even in uniform, was he? No, he wasn't. Uh, I'm not sure. All I know is is that they were going to use it. To, they wanted to have the camera for evidence, and uh, they were going to take him to jail because he wouldn't give it up. I'm like, it's my camera. 
It's not like who, it's property. Who gives them the right? I don't. First off, you got to have a warrant if, you, if you're going to pick up something like that, right? Am I correct? I don't know much about... I don't uh, either. But I'm pretty sure you need a warrant for that. But, you know, anyways, I, I want to get off of that. Yeah. I want to kind of get off of that. <laughs> but anyways, cops, there are cops out there that actually are heroes. And they, like, are SWAT team. Yep, yeah. SWAT team. Yeah. There. Those people that fight, like, you know, like in the cities. Like, yeah. major cities like New York. That's a big one right there. They're almost like our military. They yeah. get shot at. They are... They don't get paid enough. And I mean, I know money. I mean, I, I throw out the word, you know, money a lot. But... I feel like more recognition is needed for bigger things than running a ball down the field mm. or singing. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I love music. Oh. I love it. I love it to death. But I think they're overpaid. They're overpaid and they're popular. Yeah, yeah they're I overpaid and they're popular. I don't ever see. I don't ever see a guy. I mean, I'm lying. I mean, you don't see it enough where somebody goes uh, goes away and comes back and has an epic story to talk. You know what I mean? Like that. That's a big deal. And I don't. I don't want to completely, you know, rear you away from the SWAT team thing. But you know, much like we, you know, I don't. I don't want to say that I sat here and run down a police force because I didn't. But I also do want to, you know, speak about another thing I've seen that uh, some of these cops that have been. Uh, pulling people over that have like children in car seats and stuff like uh -huh. that, like the car seats out there, and these cops are going and buying that, or if these people that don't have money and they see it and they've been helping, yes, that's that's amazing, and you're a hero regardless, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, if you help a mother and her child, that is A-OK -okay uh -huh. with me, and like with the SWAT team, they are like the military. They, they are. There's a team. That's a team, team effort right there. They get fired at and everything all yeah, the time. All that's day. the big boys. Okay, they're pretty much the special forces for cops. In so many words, yeah, they are. I mean, for cops. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know how what you would call that, but, but yeah, I'm but sure. There's a big. There's a big probably term. Name, yeah. But my point is on the whole thing. We have heroes out there, other than. People running a ball down the damn field or... Or slamming somebody in a wrestling ring. But you know what, though? Here's the thing. These people out there that are singing, nine times ten, these people are reaching out and being good people. And, oh, oh, and yeah. they are, they are, you know, they are overpaid, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I mean, like, look at Taylor Swift. I mean, Taylor Swift, like, helping out all these kids get these, like, uh, these scholarships for school. I'm going to hit all mine. You know, John Cena... You know, much respect to you. He makes all these wishes come true for these kids. Mm -hmm. You can't put a dollar sign on that. Like, you can't. I mean, that that's just a, a, a thoroughbred hero. And there are so many more. There are so many people that have that have done things. I mean, like, I, I, wanna, I, I do want to give a shout-out to the Wounded Warrior Fund because that is a great project, and that's what me and Clangers are rocking tonight on the show. So we're... Uh, Giving a shout out to that. Yep. Uh, we like to keep it real out here, and I like to keep it real on King of the Kling all the time. So, and you know, I wouldn't be doing a hero tribute on here if I didn't think it needed to be addressed. And I wouldn't have Matt here on my show if I felt like, you know, like he he's the real deal. Like, you know, I bring on people that I feel are the real deal, and you know, that actually, you know, want to make a difference out there. And you know, that's what I'm all about out there. And I'm glad that you said about John Cena, Taylor Swift. And I do want to put out there, not all hero, heroes carry a gun out there or, you know, fight fires, you know, like, for instance. Uh, like someone helping. Somebody helping. Like an somebody. elderly guy with that, his groceries or something. Yeah, that is a hero right yeah. there. You know, it could be something just, something just real simple. Sticking up for people. You know, you stuck up for people. You're a hero. Not all heroes wear capes, Scott. You know what I mean? Ain't that the truth? And, uh, um, you know... When I was when I was growing up, you know, I always loved the superheroes, you know, and my favorite one was the Hulk, you know, I'm Superman. Okay, right there, they always tried to help people, save people, you know, and I think part of the reason why I do my show and the way I do it is because I I guess I kind of want to be here. I always wanted to be here and help people out, you know, in a way that I felt, you know, that I could because me personally, you know. I wanted to be in the military. I can't get in for many reasons, but we won't go into detail. But I don't know if I could honestly live with myself with 
Might what these them. people do overseas. And I give them all the I respect in the the respect in the world for what they do. But I feel like me doing this show is a different way of being a hero. You know, like you I feel that way. And you know, and I'll I'll use my brains more than my muscle, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm all about muscle, but sometimes um, the biggest weapon out there is your brain, you know? Yeah. Gotta use it sometimes, you gotta even be a hero. Yeah, you do. Is there anything else that you feel like we need to touch on, um, you know, heroes-wise? Cause, heroes, you know, just, I mean, I, I don't know, I mean, we got a lot of friends that are, that are in the military, you know what I mean, stuff like that, I mean, I'd give shouts out, but I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss people. I shouldn't have been done it with the fire thing, but uh, just thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you to whoever you are, doing whatever you are doing in a positive note for the people that live in this great country, the United States of America. To our police officers, to our firemen, and to our devoted, devoted armed forces. I say thank you to you, and I and I know that the salute thing, you know what I mean? You don't do that unless you're like the military or something like that. If I could be there to shake every single one of your hands, if I could do something to help you, that would make my day. And I like to think of myself as a hero too, to my children, to a lot of my fans here in Lewistown. Mm -hmm. And it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling helping somebody out. Me, just being on the show, I think I've, you know, I think I've helped you out, you've helped me out, and we're helping these, pe these exactly. five people out on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. And that's why I do this show. And the people out there, you know, that come up to me on the streets in a store, you know, I'm, I'm it really, it makes me, it tickles me inside because it's, it's just like, I'm making a difference out there. Yeah. And it's a lot, it's a different approach to what, you know, you people in the armed forces, you know, the, or, you know, fight fires or, you know, serve the law, you know, and, but... Just doing it in a different way. I, I, I like doing it in a different way, and I like doing it this way, because honestly, I guess, you know, I just like giving advice out there to people, because, you know, I feel like, you know, if I can make a, a difference out there, you know, in somebody's life, to me, that's, that's more than what money can yeah. give me ever, and... Uh, I think that's really all I have on this topic. If you can't think of anything else, the only the only thing else I can think of is, uh, you know, what I mean, we're gonna be sharing some, some military, some, you know, anything, you know, remotely close to uh, anybody that's a hero. You know, mm -hmm. what I mean, take a minute if you can push the down button on your Facebook, push a like button on these guys. You know, what I mean, Definitely. support everything. Definitely and. Uh, for me, that's honestly all I got except for I want to give another huge thanks to you for having me again. No and I want to give a big, you know, shout out to my fans for loving and, you know, supporting me still, you know what I mean? Coming back 2015, I'm ready for you. Here live on King of the Clean. See, that's why I have them on my show right here. <laughs> oh, I love you, you know. <laughs> Well, guys, that is all I have on this topic today. And once again, you know, thank you everybody out there that is a hero out there. Military, firefighters, police officers out there. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here right now doing my thing on here. So I'll give you a salute out there. Um, I'm not, like, I'm not. I, what, give them a bicep. Yeah. Boom. Give them the double biceps. Look at wow. the, the size of this. Yeah, you yeah, you get the bicep salute right there. That's what you get. And you know, you laugh at it now, but I'm here to tell you what. That what you're doing is stronger than my bicep. That's right. It really is. That's right. That's mind boggling, isn't it? It is mind boggling. That is a big bicep. I know. Double bicep. Double. Oh. Anyways, guys, coming up next here on King of the Clang, uh, I'm gonna do a special cover out there, and it's more of a it's more of a tribute thing to the military, and the song is called "Plush" by Stone Temple Pilots. Stay tuned for more on King of the Clang. Thank you. Thank you.